Are you looking at adding a small canine into your household, but you're not sure which small breed to pick from? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at two of the most popular small breeds, the Shih Tzu and the Boston Terrier. Welcome back to the Fenrir Shih Tzu Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Shih Tzu Show. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. The Boston Terrier has long been thought of as the national dog of the United States, which is where they originated from. They were first recognised by the American Kennel Club as a non-sporting breed in 1893. The first Boston Terrier was created in 1875 when Robert Cooper from Boston bought a dog called Judge. Judge was a cross between an English Bulldog and a white English Terrier. He was mated with a small, short-tailed, stocky white female named Burnett's Jip. And with that, the Boston Terrier was born. Boston Terriers have been known as many different names over the years, including Boston Bulls. They were also known as American Bull Terriers, but Bull Terriers and Bulldog owners objected to using this name. They got their official name in 1891. So next, let's take a look at the history of the Shih Tzu. They originate from Tibet, and thousands of years they were highly prized by Tibetan monks. They were kept in monasteries because they were known to be loyal and trustworthy companions as well as extremely good watchdogs. From time to time, they were sent as gifts to Chinese emperors, where they were kept in the imperial palace. Shih Tzus were originally known as Tibetan lion dogs, and it's believed that they were gifted to the Chinese when they were bred with Chinese breeds, including the Pekingese and the Chinese Pug. These crossings gave the Shih Tzu their unique look, making them that much different in appearance to the Tibetan lion dogs, which we now know as the Lhasa Apso. They made their way to Europe around the time of the First World War and arrived in the UK in the late 1920s and were finally recognised by the UK Kennel Club in 1949 but had to wait another 20 years to arrive across the Atlantic to be recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1969. Known as the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier is extremely recognisable thanks to its tuxedo-style coat, compact body and short tail. They're a sturdy and muscular dog with a smooth straight coat, distinct large ears which sit erect on their heads and they also have a flat nose face with no wrinkles. The American Kennel Club recognises three colours, seal, a black colour with a red tinge to it, black and brindle with equal marks of white. The newly revised colours, which are not recognised as true Boston Terrier colours, also include solid black, tan and black, mouse, which is blue, and liver, which is red. A Boston Terrier usually has white markings across its chest, in between its eyes, and on the muzzle. They don't require much grooming. In fact, a weekly brush with a grooming mitt or bristle brush will keep their coat looking sleek and clean, and they will need the occasional bath to stay mud-free. Male Boston Terriers usually weigh up to 25 pounds or 11 kilograms and females up to 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. They usually stand up to 17 inches or 42 centimetres tall at the shoulder. No matter how much a Boston weighs, they should never look skinny and should always look sturdy and muscular. The Shih Tzu is known for their chrysanthemum face. They have a broad head which is round and has lots of space between their eyes. They also have a nice beard and full whiskers with hair growing upright on their muzzles, hence the chrysanthemum appearance. They're famously known for their long show coats and top knot that keeps the hair out of their eyes. Keeping their coat looking its best takes a lot of work. Daily brushing and combing is essential to prevent tangles and they need to be bathed at least twice a week. It's not uncommon for many owners to clip their coats short. However, this needs to be kept on top of and requires a trip to the groomers every six to eight weeks. The Shih Tzu has many different colours of coat and any colour is acceptable except male. They're a small breed but with an incredibly sturdy body. Both males and females of the breed stand up to 10 and a half inches or 26 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 16 pounds or 7 kilograms. The Boston Terrier is an intelligent, affectionate and lively breed. They were once bred to be savage pit fighting dogs but that can't be any further from the truth now. They're an affectionate and loyal breed, but they can be a little stubborn. This means that manners and obedience training is essential with this breed, and consistency and persistence are a must when training them. 
The best way to train a Boston Terrier is with motivational training as they're sensitive to your tone of voice. Punishing them too harshly may cause them to quickly lose interest in you and training. It may be a good idea to consider crate training with Boston Terriers whilst house training as it may take them a while to grasp if not done properly. Boston Terriers need around 30 minutes of exercise a day and they also need plenty of play sessions and they'll love nothing more than a long game of fetch. The Shih Tzu's are low to moderate energy dog and only require a short amount of exercise every day. They also require some mental stimulation. They're an intelligent breed and have an independent side to their character. This can make them a little stubborn at times, which is important to bear in mind when training and socialising them, as they'll require a level of patience and consistency from you. As well as their independent streak, they're confident and outgoing little characters. They love to be the centre of attention and involved in everything that goes on in the house. They adore human contact and are most happy when around the people they love. Being intelligent and eager to please, they make an ideal choice of dog for first-time owners. They show very little sign of aggressive behaviour, but they are naturally curious with strangers. However, they will keep their distance until they feel comfortable. Boston Terriers are a balanced breed. However, they can become a little territorial if other dogs invade their territory. It's usually seen more commonly in males than females and can be avoided by plenty of socialising and training in manners and obedience from puppyhood. Boston Terriers have a very friendly and outgoing temperament when properly raised, which makes them excellent playmates for children. They're also good with other pets like dogs, cats and other animals when they're socialised from a young age, especially if they've grown up alongside other animals. The Shih Tzu is known as a friendly and affectionate dog, but they're not always the best choice for families with very young children. With small children, they can often feel threatened due to their boisterous behaviour and unpredictability. This can cause them to become a bit nippy if they feel threatened in any way. With this said, if a Shih Tzu has grown up with kids and they've been socialised well from a young age, they can get along well with young children. But it's equally important to teach your children how to behave around them and how to respect them and their space. As we always say though, any interaction between children and dogs should be supervised by an adult to make sure things don't get too boisterous. Shih Tzus get along great with other pets in the home if they've grown up with them as they are social by nature. Just be cautious when introducing them to new dogs or other animals. Make sure you watch their body language to make sure interactions are calm and relaxed. The Shih Tzu and the Boston Terrier are two interesting choices of family companion. The Shih Tzu is usually friendly and prefers a calm household. However, they can become unnerved around children's active and unpredictable behaviour, so may not be the best with smaller children. Whereas the Boston Terrier has a more gentle and relaxed nature and is brilliant with youngsters. Either addition will make a great canine companion for you and your family. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Shih Tzu videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenris Shih Tzu Show.